This is Kilkenny.com with light commentary on what's happening in Kilkenny, but who's your one? Well, I'm Maureen Ryan, but your one is a fantastic solo piece of theatre by Neve Moroni that's on in Clears on Friday night, kicking off the Kilkenny Pride. Tickets are a mere seven euro, and you are guaranteed some vulgar dancing, strong language, and a bit of vodka thrown in. And it's also Kilkenny out for the weekend. Yeah, out for the weekend this weekend. Uh, there's a few other events going on. I think there's an event on Fenleys and Callan, um, burlesque, 1930s. If you come costumed, you will get a free beverage, lovely pizza, 1930s movies, and a bit of debauchery thrown in, I think. And tickets, five euro. Free buses from Kilkenny City out to Callan. How bad? Sounds uh, very exciting. Yeah. And Heritage Week is long too. What's all that about? Well, Heritage Week, well, I'm not too sure exactly, but I guess it's to do with looking at our past and checking out the beautiful buildings, our fantastic memorabilia that's around the city and the county. And talking about such buildings, uh, the hole in the wall of something on Monday night. Yes, the little hidden gem. There's a lady, um, her name is Tiny Runes, Miss Tiny Runes, and she's coming all the way from New Zealand on her world tour. And her gig is on on Monday night in Hole in the Wall. And fashion, Maroon? Well, I think it's the end of the summer. Go grab the rest of the sales while you can. Money's a bit tight for people with school coming up, so this is a perfect opportunity to go out there and get a few bargains. And for parents with young children starting school? Just like myself, first time starting school this week, make sure they know how their lunchbox works, how their school bag works, if they can tie their shoelaces, um, and uh, get the Kleenex at the ready as well. Miren, thanks for everything. You're very welcome, Stephen. <laughs> This is Kilkenny.com with Sports with Ronnie. Ronnie, some would say Jimmy Barry Murphy has a great future behind him. What do you think? I believe after three years, Jimmy Barry Murphy's done a great job. No one wanted the job, I suppose, three years ago, but um, Jimmy Murphy, Barry Murphy is a people's person. And I think at this stage, Cork might need a change. You know, I don't know, can he bring him any further? And I believe it might be for Jimmy's own sake. Being a gentleman, it might be time to maybe for a change. And Ronnie, um, nice, nice men don't always win, then, is that it? Well, nice men is not a, a job of a ma team manager, is not a place for nice men and Jimmy is a total gentleman and uh, on and off the field and I believe he has done great work with Cork but I think maybe it's time for a change. And talking about nice men, Tip are doing really well at the moment. Yeah, nice men, Tip. Um, yeah, Tip are doing very well. Um, they're now a, a serious worry to Kilkenny. They're coming with great credentials. They're a more experienced team than they were of five years ago in 2010 when they beat us. So we're, we're rightly justly so to be worried about Tipperary. And uh, Brian Cody has a lot of um, matters to, at hand and to think about. Yeah, to consider. I mean, the team selection is going to be a big uh, st story for the next fortnight. I mean, the obvious one is Henry, the, uh, Richie Power, Lester Ryan, uh, Owen Murphy and goal, and I'm sure there's one or two other guys. But there's a lot of key players in the dugout that Brian Cody has to, to his disposal, and I'm sure there's a couple of players on the team looking over the shoulder. So for the next fortnight, we, all the supporters, will have an opinion on that. Do you see Henry starting? Well, of course, I'd love to see him starting, but of course, I'm here and Brian Cody take does that job. Um, I believe he should be starting, in a personal opinion, I believe he has more to offer. Uh, starting and coming on to feel, I think, if he's left on the sideline, I believe that's more of a help to Tipperary. I think coming on may not help uh, Henry and may not help the team. I'd sooner see Henry starting than on a personal basis. And Ronnie, the club scene last weekend was very busy with Dixborough taking the village out. Yeah, that was a big result. Dixborough had a famous result the weekend, and that often Dixborough uh, get the better of the village. And uh, unfortunately for the village, now they're, they're set up themselves for a big ma a game against Clare, the county champion. So when all this all earned hype is over, there's a serious club games, and that'll be the tide around um, Clara and James Stevens. And the county senior team, the training is closed, so supporters need to support the uh, Kilkenny Supporters Club uh, going to different events. Yeah, the Kilkenny supporters do great work for Kilkenny, and the, as anyone knows, the, 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 the Kilkenny Supporters Club wagon. Um, because it's closed, the guys have bought forward a lot of gear and bunting and flags and whatnot, and as a result of the training being closed, it's more difficult to sell. So I think they're visiting the Iverk show the weekend. This Saturday, uh, yeah. yeah, and Greg Belly, Callan Funde on Sunday. So if people can, if they are looking for some souvenirs or flags or buntings, what not, the Kilkenny supporters have all that gear. Ronnie, as always, thanks very much. <laughs> this is Kilkenny.com. I'm with John Hurley with business dates for your diary. John, you have something coming up on Wednesday. Yes, indeed, Stephen. Uh, we're getting busy now again after the holiday period. Uh, next Wednesday, we have uh, an event a seminar on how to grow your own business, something very important to all businesses. Uh, and uh, it's being presented in conjunction between the Kilkenny Chamber and Avid Partners, who are professionals in that area. Where is that held, John? It's going to be on in the castle, uh, in the parade tower, um, at 
12.30 fr until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So we will provide you with free lunch and very valuable information on how you can grow your business. Do you need to register for that? Uh, yes, you should contact the uh, Kilkenny Chamber Office and we'll make sure that we have your details and that we have a seat for you. Uh, the room is not huge, it's going to be very popular, so it's important that you would contact us as soon as possible. And John, you also have the biggest and most uh, popular social event coming up in November. Indeed, that's right. The 15th of November is our flagship event. Every year we hold the Kilkenny Business Awards, a tremendous opportunity for businesses to showcase uh, what they're good at, what they do. And there are so many tremendous businesses out there. It's really important that they start engaging now with the process. There are nomination forms, application forms and all of that to be completed now, next week indeed. Uh, and so if you have a business or you know somebody who's in business and that they're doing a very good job and maybe could be uh, winners of an award, then let us know. Get involved. Have a look at our website, uh, kilkennychamber.ie, and you can download the uh, relevant forms and some information there. So that's coming up in November. John Hurley, thank you. This is Kilkenny.com. I'm with Michael Lynch, the Mark Manager. Michael, heifers are back a little bit this week. Yeah, I suppose, um, Stephen, the, the numbers are a little bit smaller this week. Um, probably a lot of people are still at the harvest still uh, work to be done and then the uncertainty of the beef markets is probably you know makes people wonder is this the right time is this the wrong time and it's the same for the buyers but the heifers uh, numbers are quite small this week only you know about 15 pence of heifers here so it was back a bit back maybe 10 to 20 ahead but the prices would have been i suppose for the heifers that have been somewhere between 180 to 230 but they would have been a little bit easier and the bullock side uh, again quite similar to last week Good strong demand for uh, in the four to five hundred kilo cash rate. Good solid demand for those. The beef, I suppose, is something similar. Two euros a kilo now would top what you'd get in the ring. Um, and I suppose that's because of a lot of the uncertainty. The cows, the small numbers again, but a very, very good trade. I'd say it's definitely up 10 to 20 euros ahead this week. And I suppose in some ways it kind of surprises me that there aren't more cows out, uh, considering the prices. And certainly it probably is the dearest ring in the country for cull cows. Uh, as a cooperative, Michael, uh, you're very busy at the moment. You're in spearheading a, a share drive. We have, and a, 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 it's quite a big operation, I suppose, Stephen. We really haven't done this since 1956. <laughs> it's probably the first time that it's been done since. And uh, we obviously circulated a lot of information to shareholders and customers. The shareholder base would have been probably small enough, but the customer base would be huge. So all of those people now will now get an opportunity going forward to be part of it. And I'd have to say... The reaction, Michael, is... Very good. Very positive. There's a strong uh, feeling that people recognise that there is a good march, strong march here, and that it's important to have a march in the air. Well, it's very important to have Kilkenny as a stronghold for it our is, livestock march. It always has been, and, and you, that's the first feeling comes from everybody that you meet. And an example of all of that too, you're involved in the community of the GAA Supporters Club on Saturday night. <laughs> that's right, yes. Normally... Um, before the All-Ireland, which we happen to be in a lot of at the moment, um, there's a corporate event held, um, you know, a fundraising event, and that's being held here this, this Saturday night. So anybody wants to uh, come to that, certainly come along to the hub. There'll be six to 700 people there, so it should be a great night for everybody. Michael Lynch, thank you. Thank you, Stephen.